Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video for you on how to launch uh, an automated trading bot uh, via the Alpaca API. Um, essentially what I'm going to do um, is give you the link uh, that was provided to me uh, in a learning course. Um, you can download the code base from GitHub. We'll then go into um, the Alpaca uh, paper trading side, so trading with um, you know fake money essentially first. Uh, I'll show you where to grab your API keys. You're gonna then need to copy and paste them um, into the file, um, and then we'll just we'll see it run, right? So we'll just kind of see how quickly we can do that. Um, so as you can see, we are on the sign-in page uh, for Alpaca. If you don't have an Alpaca account, you'll need to sign up for one. So email, password, pretty standard. You also notice that I'm in the paper trading side, so there is a live account, uh, but I am actually down here in the paper trading account. So using fake money, um, I've given myself. Um, 100,000 to start with, and it looks like they actually will loan me um, four to one. So I actually can buy $400,000 worth of stock, uh, fake stock, right? Um, and so this is down to the right here. Uh, you're going to see that there's a button that says your API keys. So when you're new logging in, they might just be provided to you off the top, uh, but you'll just click view, um, go in there, grab your API key and your secret API key. On this side, so this is actually where you're going to be downloading the code. So I'm providing a link to this as well. Um, I actually took a, a course. I bought this guy's course. Um, I think you guys, you know, you could buy it too. It's actually pretty good. Um, so you'll be downloading the code base from here. So you're just going to click uh, download code. Um, I've already downloaded it and it's saved to my desktop. So yours is probably going to come in a zip file. You want to like unpack it, um, save it to your desktop and that will give you, you know, essentially all these files. We're gonna edit this file right here. Um, it's called gvars.py.py. Because that's essentially where we're gonna need to copy and paste that API key uh, that you should have grabbed once you click this view button. Um, you're gonna paste that into there. So also you're gonna need um, something that um, can actually uh, edit Python. So I'm using PyCharm. Um, it's free if you don't have it or if you don't have anything that can um, edit um, Python, I would suggest PyCharm. Um, and so here where it says API key, you're going to copy and paste your API key. Um, you're also going to have a longer um, API secret key. You're going to want to post that here. And this is, this max workers up here is at set at five. Um, I have mine pushed up to 20, so it's doing 20 um, threads at once. Not really sure what that means, but um, essentially doing more. Um, and then it's operating equity. This is where it's um, essentially telling you um, like how many shares it's going to buy. So it's at $10,000 worth of shares. Um, so you can make this 100,000, hypothetically, right? 200, whatever, 20,000, whatever you want. But this is where you would change it. Um, you're going to want to, once you have that pasted in, you're going to want to hit command S and save this. And then once that's saved, so now you're in paper trading, you've given it your API key. Um, you're going to actually want to pull up your terminal. So up here you can actually search terminal, um, open up your terminal. It's going to bring you to this window here, right? So you're going to want to... Um, type in CD space capital D desktop backslash and on my my file is saved as incomplete trading bot it's trading uh, dash bot dash master and I'm going to hit enter Cool. So, in this um, in this file, I'm gonna want to type Python three because we're using Python three, and the file that actually kind of runs the whole um, uh, bot is called tbot, right? So tbot dot pi. You're gonna want to hit enter. 
So now it's running. Um, it's looking at different uh, stock tickers, uh, GIVO, Johnson & Johnson, um, Microvision, Shopify, Big Commerce. So yeah, CCL, Carnival Cruise Line. So it's looking at um, different tickers um, and running through its you know different um, trend analysis, is, uh, so to speak. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, it's up and running. So that was pretty quick. Um, I think what? about five minutes yeah five minutes so yeah uh give it a try if you have any questions shoot them over um like i said i'm not a, a developer i don't give out financial advice so this is not that um but yeah i mean hypothetically you could um give this real money right uh after you had made your adjustments and um, it was doing well and performing well but yeah check it out